weather with meteorologist Rob Nukatola. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. We're starting off on 24 hour temperature cast a little on the warm side in spots. Going to have a few in the 60s, a few in the 50s. I think highs today should get up over 80 and we're going to do it all over again tomorrow with more clouds and a better chance. I think tomorrow to maybe find a few much needed rain showers. There are some rain showers to our north and west, but a lot of that is going around our part of the southeast. That's been the way things have been going for the past couple of days, and there's likely going to be some significant showers and storms trying to move across the deep south today, but the big weather is going to be over parts of Mississippi and Alabama. Not so much where we are now. We'll watch and we'll see if that next batch of energy can get into our part of the southeast to give us a real shot to get wet maybe tomorrow because we need it to help wash down that pollen, help out those thirsty lawns, gardens and greens. We're a couple inches behind schedule with rainfall this month, and that means we're falling into the deficit column for the year. We start off today at 60 in Tallahassee, 57s for Thomasville and for Valdosta. It's a little cooler in some of our eastern areas like Live Oak and Cross City, where it's 55, a little warmer to the south, Wakulla and Apalachicola, where it's 67. We're at 59 degrees at Quincy, we're at 60 in Bainbridge. There is a bit of a breeze coming in from the south trying to stir things up, so not nearly as much fog out there this morning as we had yesterday. Now, a lot of that energy to the west continues to move around this big ridge of high pressure. And over the next 24 hours or so, a boundary is going to try to get here. The closer to our area it gets, the better chance we'll have to get some showers. But a lot of the energy is going north, and I think that's going to take the best chances for the most rain. And any of those dangerous thunderstorms that we hear about to the west today, that'll all be headed to the north. As we go through our day tomorrow, Whatever's left of that boundary, it'll try to ring out a few showers. It's not a guarantee we're talking widespread soaking rains or anything like that. But I do think tomorrow our rain chances go up a little bit higher than today. And like today, it's not going to be a zero chance to get wet. It's just not a great chance. On the Gulf today, small crafts use some caution. That breeze from southeast and south, maybe as high as 20 or 22 knots. Got the low tides up first. They'll wrap it up a little before 915. 50s and 60s, we'll call it mostly cloudy this morning. We'll ratchet up the rain chances to like 20%, plenty of clouds today, but also some breaks of blue in the sky, and that can get us into the lower, maybe even the middle 80s in spots. Tonight is back in the 60s, and we'll do the temperatures the same, I think, for the next couple of days. It's going to be getting a little bit warm out there. Tomorrow, a decent shot for at least some showers. The weekend looks pretty dry and pretty nice and pretty spring-like. Monday, guys, Monday might be our best chance to get wet.